Now I would like to invite Mr. Al-Subari for the third speech. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Lutfa Subari. I'm a master's student in uh, Sustainable Environment and Energy System program at uh, Middle East Technical University, Northern Cyprus campus. I'm doing my master thesis actually in utilization of uh, waste rubber tire and uh, as a cement replacement material in soil stabilization. Uh, my outline will be like this. In the, the, I will start with some introductions, some motivations of my research, and I will go to some literature review. Then the materials that I uh, used in my research. I will introduce some experimental program that I did in the lab. Uh, then I will conclude with uh, some initial results from uh, my research. The first mo motivation is the huge uh, generation of waste uh, rubber tire uh, around the world. Uh, around 1.5 billion tire units uh, is gener uh, generated uh, annually around the world, and uh, two thirds of them reach their end of life. The end of life of material means uh, it's the age of material where it cannot be utilized in the uh, manufacturing uh, purpose. So it needs to be disposed uh, somewhere. Most of those tires, uh, waste tires, are disposed in stockpiles and landfills, which caused many environmental pollutions. It can infiltrate to ground uh, water and harm uh, the, the human and other species. Uh, the other motivation to use these materials uh, as a partial uh, replacement of cement is the amount of CO2 emissions uh, generated uh, from the manufacturing of cement, the production of cement. Uh, as it can be indicated here, it's the fourth resource of CO2 emissions based on the foil uh, source. And around, uh, in 2020, around 1,500 uh, million uh, ton of CO2 emission uh, is generated uh, from uh, uh, cement production. Uh, and as you see, the, the, we are trying in this research to uh, treat some problematic soil because the uh, problematic soil has many disadvantages and it's not uh, favorable uh, to be used as a foundation material because of uh, its low strength as they introduced before uh, the presenters, extensive, uh, extensive settlement and uh, high compressibility and its tendency to uh, shrink and uh, uh, to shrink and expand uh, during the seasonal changes. These are some research, uh, researchers uh, that uh, the research that has been uh, have been done regarding uh, related to uh, my study. Actually, uh, they they used uh, different, as you can see, different types of tire uh, rubber and uh, with different type of soil uh, in different percentages of cement and tire. And uh, those are ma the main findings of them. Most of the researchers reported a decrease in the uh, compressive strength uh, by treating the soil, the cemented soil, with uh, tire uh, rubber. Uh, but uh, some of them they reported a change in the brittleness, uh, in the brittleness behavior. Actually, it changed the, the material from brittle to more ductile material, which can be uh, which can be beneficial uh, at some purposes in civil engineering. Uh, we selected our clay actually from uh, uh, a location in uh, Long Beach uh, in Eskele district in uh, Ma Mausa. Uh, this uh, area is uh, very touristic, attractive, uh, and it attracts many investors to uh, do uh, many structures, many uh, uh, like hotels and other structures, uh, touristic uh, structures. And the soil and this area is actually a deposit of uh, two main rivers, uh, which accumulates uh, by years, by uh, many years. And uh, this type of soil, uh, it, it's, uh, it's called uh, alluvial soil because it's coming from uh, alluvial rocks. Uh, so it's very weak soil and it needs to be treated. And uh, as it can be indicated here, uh, uh, it, uh, this uh, picture or this heat map, uh, I took it from uh, the Chamber of Civil Engineering. Uh, it, it indicates the bearing capacity at this area, and it's very low. As you can see in the blue, uh, it's uh, very low, uh, around two tons per meter square, which can not be used in high-rise building or big structures. Uh, so it needs to be treated uh, in somehow. And uh, 
The other materials actually cement because the cement uh, now it's getting uh, more popular in uh, treating the, the soil because uh, it, uh, it increases uh, the, the strength and the stiffness of uh, such material at, uh, and it un enhances the mechanical properties of the soil. And I used two different types of waste rubber tire. Uh, one of them is uh, powder and the other one is fiber-like to see the effect of the uh, fiber, uh, the fiber uh, shape uh, or the fiber uh, the, the tire uh, articles, partic particles on uh, the blends. Uh, the experimental program uh, started uh, from generating uh, actually a huge number of samples here, around 540 samples, with using a variety of uh, percentages of uh, rubber as a replacement of cement and three different types of cement. And this uh, percentages of cement were selected based on the soil type that we have because uh, it needs uh, to uh, withstand a 24 hour uh, submerged, uh, submerged in, the, in, the, in the water without any melting. So we try, uh, did some trials to select those percentages of cement. And we compacted our, our samples into different densities to see the effect of the compaction, uh, the, the density uh, at fully saturated uh, state. As I said before, to rubber type, and uh, we uh, did many samples in uh, 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 different ages, three different ages, 7, 28, and 60, because we used cement. The, after uh, curing the samples, we start our testing program with uh, ultrasonic pulse velocity to uh, measure the initial shear uh, modulus of uh, the samples, which is an uh, indestructive uh, kind of test. Then we used uh, uncom unconfined compressive strength, UCS, to, um, uh, to measure the strength of uh, the samples. Then the durability to see the, the behavior of, of the blends uh, at different conditions. And actually, we, we did another uh, kind of durability. Uh, not, not with down dry, we did uh, sea water to see the effect because the, the area is close to the sea. So we, we did some durability to, the, to see the effect of the sea water in our plants. Then we supported our, uh, our findings or our uh, tests with uh, some microstructural tests. We sent the samples to Ankara, uh, to Mito Ankara, to Test, uh, test them uh, in SEM, XRD, and XRF uh, microstructures. Here are, uh, in the results, actually, we did a different type of analysis. Starting, uh, actually, we used uh, uh, a statistical analysis tool, which called ANOVA. Uh, and w uh, this, uh, this uh, application or app, it gives the effect of each, because we, d we used uh, different variables, so it gives the effect of each variable alone without considering the effect of others. It's, uh, this type of analysis give us uh, uh, a clear picture of uh, the trends, of the main trends. Uh, and actually, uh, as you can see here, there, there is a drop. Uh, uh, we, we measured, uh, we did the analysis for uh, three different parameters, uh, mechanical parameters, strength, modulus of elasticity, and uh, the shear modulus, the initial shear modulus. And we saw a drop in the strength but what uh, was uh, interesting is that after 28 curing days, the strength dropped. However, the modulus of velocity and the shear modulus didn't. Uh, and we were trying to find some reasons why did that happen. This is uh, related to the powder, tire rubber powder. But the tire rubber fiber, uh, fiber it's not reported here, but uh, we saw uh, an increase as uh, it, it's expected. Uh, we, saw, uh, we, we, are, uh, we did some... Um, we uh, supported our uh, findings with some reasons why this drop happened uh, because of the carbon uh, nature of the powder or the rubber uh, powder, which has a more surface area that slow down the hydration reaction of cement, which uh, prevent uh, the increase uh, with time in the string. Furthermore, we did some uh, regression analysis. And this re regression analysis, actually, uh, this type of uh, index started from 2007 with uh, Consili, who uh, proposed uh, a, a relation or an index that can better uh, give better evaluation of the strength and uh, starting from the strength actually uh, to uh, govern all uh, the, the, par uh, the parameters under uh, one index. 
and uh, it, it's called uh, at the beginning it's called uh, cement uh, porosity cement index this uh, ratio uh, found out to be uh, to evaluate the strength uh, better uh, better uh, then uh, we adjust uh, we actually inspired from a study of uh, Ekinji uh, 2019 who did uh, multiple binders and we uh, proposed uh, an index XIV which uh, consider uh, the, not only consider the cement because the cement contributes more to the uh, mechanical properties, it also consider the, the rubber as well. So uh, we then uh, after we did this analysis, we normalized our results to bring all the variables to one stage. Then this is, these are the results of uh, the, the normalization. Uh, and as you can see here, we propose three equations to find each parameter, the uh, unconfined compressive strength, the initial shear, and the modulus of elasticity. And uh, it can be easily used in the field as uh, you can prepare three samples, three uh, samples at a proposed uh, porosity binder index at 25 because we normalized our data uh, at this number because it's, uh, it uh, divides the, the data, the, the range of uh, this index. Then you perform three, uh, the, the tests that I mentioned uh, earlier. Uh, after that, you can apply any, uh, you can uh, apply uh, this, uh, this uh, what you got, the results in the equations, and you can get the parameters of any mix that you want. Uh, furthermore, actually, we uh, found uh, a very good relationship between the initial shear modulus and the modulus of elasticity, and the initial shear modulus and the unconfined compressive strength, and we suggested uh, to use only one, uh, one uh, test, and, uh, which uh, will be cost effective at the field. Uh, by performing only one test, you can get uh, the three parameters, which can be easily used in the design of foundations. And uh, we actually sent the paper to uh, construction uh, of building materials, uh, me, uh, Ekinji, and uh, R2, uh, R2, and it's under review. That's it for my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So there will be one question, please. Open the same. This one. Yes. Okay. Yes, the curing days, actually this program is a statistical tool that can only give the effect of the curing without mentioning the others. It gives some averages. Yes, it's reduced. Yes, because of the, uh, uh, because of the fiber, the, the rubber powder, uh, as we introduce it, uh, even we, we uh, further uh, explain it in microstructure by Artoja uh, because uh, it, uh, it constructs and it rangites this uh, kind of material expand and it makes uh, very micro cracks uh, that we saw from SAM as well. So it reduced the, uh, the, the not, in not in 28 days. Actually, the, the statistical tool, it's not, uh, as I said in the beginning, it gives only an overview of the trend. It, not, uh, it doesn't give the, the very... Uh, uh, okay, thank you very much. Thank you for the question and the answer.